farming practices and experiences instead of just uh, letting it flow on a day-to-day basis. Today we are going to talk about uh, goat farming and what I have uh, realized in goat farming um, for the few months or is it years that I've practiced or I've kept goats at Mbuvi Farm. So we have about 30 goats. Uh, I started small. I started with three goats, one, two females and one male. And then I added the females um, when on a monthly basis, like I would just like buy two females at, uh, and then add them to the flock. And that has given me 30 goats so far. So it's all about your strategies. Like if you don't need a lot of money to to farm goats, you don't need a lot of money to start farming. So I started with three and now I'm at 30. That is like 10 times. I also have a sheep. So I do the, the sheep, um, my local sheep, not the like the dopers or the hybrid ones. So I I started with one male, two females again. The female, one female is pregnant. The other female has uh, given birth to another female. So uh, in by the end of the year, I should be having five um, sheep, if not six, because sheep multiply faster than goats. And for now, I'm not like... Oh, selling my goats, I'm just keeping them and waiting. Uh, the 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 plan is to sell them off, mostly the male the male goats to sell off the male goats during the December season. So I'll be like selling around ten during December on in lump sum, and that will give me a good capital to do some other business or to buy more females. So goat farming is not complicated. It is very easy. So for one, uh, these are the tips that I currently use. I know my breed. So make sure that you know the breed that you want to start with. And the, you'll know the breed when you know your climate. So for us, because we are in, ho- in a hot area, we are doing gala goats. Mostly you'll find that the goats are white in color and they have like the long ears. Uh, so we are doing gala. Uh, I've tried to... to to stop the inbreeding and therefore that's why when you when you stop when you're doing the inbreeding thing when you stop the inbreeding you'll find that I will be selling off the male and bringing in another male to fertilize the female so that we don't get inbreeding uh in in the onto the farm i've also reduced my cows uh because uh cows are not giving me the the return on investment that I would like. You'll find that you, you're keeping a cow for like two to three years feeding it. Uh, you have uh, invested in it and at the end of the day, it, it comes and gives you um, little money. So we are selling off the cows and buying more goats. But I will have like two cows for because it helps when we are doing the plowing. So some of the cows, the big, the huge ones, they help in the plowing. So you'll know your breed then you know your variety. Then you know how are you going to feed your goods. Are you going to feed them zero grazing or are you going to free range or graze them on your piece of land? So spacing is very important. Like what space do you have? If you have little space, then it means that you're going to cage, uh, put them in houses and not and the goats will not be able to roam around, which is okay. Uh, so first you need to understand your location, your space. What is the available space that you have? The other thing, the third thing you, you will have to check is your housing. So goats need like a good housing. Um, we've not constructed, we've not yet constructed a very nice house or the house that I desire for Bovi Farm. And I will put another video when we do the housing structure. Uh, of course, it needs to be spacious, it needs to be raised so that all the uh, litter and everything for the goats will, will drop uh, down and they will not be able to, to step on it. And that's why you see some of my goats are dirty because uh, I've not taken care of the housing. But that does not stop you from farming because we said that farming, you start with what you have. If you ever wait to be like have have it all you'll never learn so i'm learning with the few goats that i have and then as we 
as, as they increase, as they multiply, I will get a bigger structure for them. Uh, we had a few additions uh, in last last week. So we got about three new uh, small goats. <laughs> so the, the, the females gave birth. And this is like an amazing uh, multiplication on onto the farm. And some of the mothers, we, they are having uh, issues with uh, breastfeeding. So you find that one has um, the big, the, their teeth are like very huge. So we are trying to see if we can um, help the mother by like, we have to, what is it called? Uh, to, to try and breastfeed the small one and also to try and remove the excess milk so that the, the mother's uh, breast can be like normal and not painful. So we had new additions. You can see this the small one there uh, trying to suckle, to breastfeed. And there were three of them. And then there's this, the black one, there's the white one, and there's a brown one. I'm going to show you... Uh, in a few so for goats let's see number one your breed the variety is very important number two location your climate is very important number three housing quite important and then you'll get to know about your feeding program you'll get to know how are you going to feed your goats you'll get to know uh, any additional supplements, disease control. Every morning you have to check, or maybe once in a week, you have to check the diseases if, if the uh, goats have issues. Ticks, ticks is a very bad uh, menace to when it comes to goats. So you have to ensure that you're, you're looking and, you're, and, and you ensure that you're spraying. We have like a good spraying program where we do like two weeks. We spray them with the... Um, pesticide so that at least or you, you, they don't be invested and you also spray the the house for the for the for the goats so that it's clean it's tidy and it does not have it's not infested and mostly the what i've seen is uh, ticks so there sometimes you can see the goat has like many ticks and then it it deters that goat to 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 grow that's the brown one that uh, has has given back <laughs> over there so yes uh the structure is not uh ideal for now and uh we will get there uh i promise you we will get there and by the way this 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 road um this metal thing is a very good uh, for my chicken so i'm going to change this into a uh, like a movable uh, coop the metal one so we, we we are going to use that for the chicken uh maybe in the coming in the coming months i'm going to to post that for the chicken because it's very nice you can put the the wheels and then the the chicken will be inside and you will put wire mesh on the top and you find that your chicken have like control when they are grazing outside because of the hawks so goat farming is very simple you need to start with minimal as you learn you can start with five you can start with three you can even start with 10. As they multiply, you're going to understand what you need and then you're going to grow from there. But if you let and say that you can't keep a goat because uh, you do not know or you're waiting to have like a huge capital to buy your goats, then you, you, you're you going to fail. These are the, this is the small one that, uh, so we are helping the mother there to ensure that uh, the excess milk is uh, removed. And then we've noticed that we need to put it in a cup because we have goats we can give the milk to. So we are not going to drink this milk. Mostly I think it's for the goats. The, not the goats. The, the, the dogs. So the dogs will take the milk <clears throat> and not us. But goat milk is very nutrition. It, it has like the highest nutrition uh, compared to cow milk. But we 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 are not keeping our goods for for milk purposes. Though I would like love to have value addition on uh, on goat keeping. So this is the the brown. Uh, you you see the the small one has like the brown for the, from the mother, and then the mother is fully brown. Uh, this is just a local breed that we 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 had. And um, these are a few of the goats in here. Uh, and they're they're very full. They 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 are 
nicely fed, disease free. You can see how white they are. So it had not rained much. So at least they, they, they are not as dirty. Well, sometimes they become dirty when it rains because of the, of the housing and how, um, because they live outside anyway, and then they'll go out and all that. But I've come to love uh, good farming. I know it's very profitable if you put your mind into it. You can get a lot of money uh, just raising goats. Look at this one. It's coming to the camera. So nice. Yeah, I wish I could give them like a pet name or anything, but now they're not pets. <laughs> they are goats and I don't want to be... So you see the long the long ears, those ears are for, it's, it's a breed. So that's like the specific breed that we, we have at Mbuvi Farm, which has like long, long ears. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm, I was saying that you can make cool money. Imagine disposing of a, disposing of 10 goats at a price of, sometimes it goes even to, to $10, not not ten dollars, a hundred dollars per, a hundred dollars per goat. So disposing of like ten of them at a go, then you get your cool a thousand dollars. So it's it's very profitable. Uh, you can get like many goats. Uh, they multiply very fast. Um, almost twice, almost like twice. They can do like twice a year with good breeding, and they. They, they are disease resistant. They do not have a lot of complications. You, you don't need like to be very uh, careful with goats. It's, they, don't, they don't have many pest issues. So it's a very good business when you are um, hands off and also if you're farming away from, from you. So it's something that you can, you can do very comfortably and um, with little management. Um, and therefore, if you're ready for goat farming, I would tell you to start with what you have. Don't have like many at a go because they will confuse you. Start with a few of them, learn the tricks and uh, everything about goat farming. And then when you when you are when you reach that capacity to 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 get more, then you can be able to 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 buy more or to keep more goats. Uh, the the future is about maybe fifty at a go. Uh, right now we are at 30 so we are almost there then we start selling off uh the male the the male ones so that we 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 discourage the inbreeding thank you so much for being here at movie farm we appreciate you we love you if you've not clicked on that subscribe button please do and put on the notification for future videos this is just uh, me talking about uh, good farming let me know on the comment section if you're struggling with uh, good farming or if you want to learn more about good farming let me know on the comment section how i can help you thank you and bye bye uh, for now bye bye love you click click on that um subscription button bye